This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Toronto. Medicines like Avandia can not only raise the risk of heart failure, but the risk of heart attack and death. Researchers analyzed nearly 160,000 patients over 66 years of age who were taking a TZD for type 2 diabetes. Those on Avandia were 60% more likely to have heart failure, 40% more likely to have a heart attack, and 30% more likely to die. Avandia does have benefits for those with type 2 diabetes, but it should be considered carefully in those over 65. From Tokyo, chest compression alone can be just as effective as traditional CPR. Research looking at nearly 5,000 cases of cardiac arrest showed that almost 4% of both groups survived and were neurologically intact one year later, if an ambulance arrived within 15 minutes. If an ambulance arrived later, chances of survival were greater in those who received traditional CPR compared to those who received chest compression alone. And finally from Texas, patients admitted to the ICU do not get adequate sleep. Research of the sleep patterns of 16 patients admitted to the surgical ICU showed that while these patients slept an average of eight hours, the sleep was not restful. They were woken six times per night on average. Analysis of brain activity during sleep showed that patients spent the vast majority of their time in very superficial levels of sleep. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.